Welcome to Discover Janesville. We are sitting on the stage at the Janesville Performing Arts Center in Janesville. And this is the set of the Janesville Little Theater production, The Moon is Blue, and the set is pink. <laughs> and we are glad to welcome our next guest, Ron Brown. Ron, thank you so much for being here. You are um, you, you're involved in practically every show production that... Uh, well. I don't know if I quite would say every show, but I, I do quite a bit of theater. And, and thank you for having me today. It's uh, very kind, and, and I'm looking forward to this. It should be interesting. But yeah, I've, I've been very involved with a lot of the local theater groups. Uh, James Little Theater, Theater Limited, uh, Beloit Civic, um, a couple of the JPAC production things, uh, both the radio shows that have gone on here. So. That's right. Exactly how many shows have you done at this point, do you know? <laughs> well, for lack of a better term, I have what I call a resume. A lot of times when you go to auditions, they ask, what have you done, what have you been in? And uh, I've done As probably, if they don't know you, come on. Well, some, some don't. You know, some directors, I have not worked with a few of the directors in town that work with like Little Theater, and they don't know me. They know of me, they have seen me, but they don't know me. But they haven't worked with you. They have not worked with me, correct. And it's nice to be able to look to see what shows you know somebody has done, uh, especially if they're looking for a certain type of of uh, actor for a certain role. So it helps to have that. And on the audition sheet, they you know have you list it down. Well, I just type mine off the computer, and I just say, here you go. It's a lot easier than having to write it because my penmanship's not real good. Now, so what out of those 65, what is the one that maybe sticks out the most that you enjoy doing the most? I've got two roles that uh, I thoroughly enjoyed playing. Um, one was a show called The Foreigner. It's a comedy by Larry Hsu, and the character's name is Charlie Baker. And what the story is, it's this gentleman from England who is very shy, very quiet, and he comes to America with a friend of his who's a demolition expert. And that, that's a good start right there. It's a good start right there. And Demolition's well, always funny. And so Charlie does not want to talk to people. He doesn't want to see people. And his friend says, don't worry. I'll tell him you're a foreigner. You don't speak any English. And so they tell this woman that, oh, he's a foreigner. He doesn't speak you know, anything. So I had to make up a language for the, for the show. And it, it was just a, absolutely hilarious because you were sitting there pretending not to understand what people are saying and you're hearing all these secrets and all these stories and it was just a fun fun part and uh, the other part would be uh, Dr. Lyman from Bus Stop which I really enjoyed that show so you know there's been musicals I mean there's I really can't think of a show that I've done that I haven't enjoyed so there's well that's good to know that, that's that's a very yeah. politically correct answer yeah. <laughs> In theater, I'm sure every show, every production is, is a blast. So we have uh, three theater uh, groups in town? Or? Oh, more than that, because there's Spotlight on Kids, okay. which may, do mainly with uh, children. But then they have an offshoot group called Footlights, which work with adults. Oh, okay. And then you have the James the Little Theater. You've got Theater Unlimited. Uh, you've got U-Rock, uh, uh, University of Rock County, who has open auditions for anybody in the community. Oh, that's true. Yeah, right so well. there's five there. Then you've got uh, the James Performing Arts Center will do a couple of shows now and then. I know uh, they did Frogs this last year, was a JPAC production. And then they've done the two radio shows. So you're, you're looking five, six groups just in Janesville itself. Performing continually throughout the year. Yes. And you're involved also with uh, Theater Unlimited? Theater Unlimited, I am uh, one of their board members. How did you and get to, how did you decide of that group over? I, I, Theater Limited does mainly musicals. And do you sing? Because so I, far, every guest in the can, show admitted that they don't yes, sing. Yes, I, I sing. Okay, I'll then you break the pattern. I, I'm not Caruso by any stretch of the imagination, but I can carry a tune. And in fact, I, right now I'm working on a show called uh, Tom Foolery. And we're doing that as a fundraiser for Theater Limited. We'll be doing that at the Janesville Country Club in March. And it's the uh, music of Tom Lear, who was a satirist. And, uh, right, uh, Poisoning Pigeons in the Park. That, exactly. One of the, yes. That was one of his songs. And uh, 
So Long Mob and uh, the Masochism Tango and just some really interesting, <laughs> interesting songs. I, I believe he set the entire uh, periodic table. Yes, it's song. called the Element Song, yes. The Element Song. And he also did a song for uh, the electric company called Silent E. Oh. Which some people, when they hear them, say, I remember that when, you know, when I was a kid or watched on the electric company. And so, yeah, so it's interesting music. So there's, so there's some good productions. Oh, there's some wonderful productions. And... You know, like you, how, how can people keep track of, of what's going on? Are there some websites that you recommend? or just uh, the Well, paper? the United Arts Alliance always has the audition information. Okay. And you can always you know, go to that website and see what is coming up for auditions. And you're always looking for more people, I would imagine. Always. You're gonna, you know, and not everybody needs to be actually on stage. You need people to, for example, build this wonderful set. Somebody had to paint this painting. That, that's right. Somebody had to paint it. Somebody had to put it together. Somebody had to help bring it in. And then there's also people that have to do the costumes, the makeup. The, you know, for people that have hair, the hair. I have not. You know, I don't have that problem. <laughs> well, me <laughs> true. <laughs> but yeah, but there's always back scene work that needs to be done. When the show's going on, you need prop people to make sure that if there's a, a, supposed to be a bottle of brandy and four glasses on stage that they're there when the scene opens. You know, and they make sure that the stage is set, that they, there's always all kinds of activities. Now, one of the things that appeals to me about theater is that it's a great way to develop your communication skills and people's skills. And I would think that right now, considering what's going on with the economy and people are looking to upgrade their skill set level, getting involved in theater is actually not a bad idea because if you have free time, you will be working with a director, somebody who will help you to be more effective in, in being a presenter and exactly. uh, puts you in a situation where you're speaking to a group of people and, and maybe some of the stage fear will go away. It, it really will. Uh, it, people find it hard to believe that when I was in high school, I was a very shy, quiet kid. I could not get up in front of a group and talk to save my life. But getting involved in theater, my older brother got me involved in it. I always enjoyed going, but I said, ah, you're not going to get me up there. Well, he finally did, and I loved it. And I think the reason is because you get to be somebody that you're not or someone you're not. I mean, I've played some great roles where I've been murderers. I've been just some, some of the lowest scumballs in the world because that's not me. But I can portray that and pretend it. Like the last show I did before Tom Foolery, I did, uh, and then there were none, an Agatha Christie murder mystery. And I got to play the murderer. I got to kill nine other people. It, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Something that I would never do. And, you know, people, I, I, I hope. Right. Yeah, no, I, well, I, something I, I like that disclosure. Something right. that I would I, never I do. I would never do, right. And what I like about it, you know, people say, well, I just can't get in front of you know, people and talk. I said, number one, they don't know what you're going to say. And unless you telegraph it to them that you made a mistake, they don't know. You know, unless you sit there and go, oh, I made a mistake. You know, no, you just keep rolling with it and keep going. Well, and another great thing about theater, and that's something that my daughter has discovered, is that this is a great opportunity to just meet new people. Oh, it really, I some of the best friends I've got I've met through the theaters. And, you know, I've, I've kept track of, you know, kept in touch with these people. And, and you know, the, the, I just did a survey the other day that said, you know, do you have any superstitions? Well, yeah, I do. When I'm doing a show... I mean, all actors have superstitions of some sort. Mine... So that M play we're not going to mention? You no. Know. Okay. But my one superstition is I have to either give everybody a hug or a handshake before each show. Just to tell them, break a leg, have a good show, have fun, whatever. It's just something in me that I have to go to each person and do that. And the other thing I do for all the girls in a show, opening night, they get a flower. Whether it's a carnation or a rose, depending upon the size of the cast. Uh, it's usually roses, unless it's a cast of 50, then they get carnations. So now the element of surprise is, is gone. Oh, the, everybody that works with me knows that, <laughs> that it's coming. So. 